Archie Academy viewer wanted to know, how can I take some data and make two scatter plots in the same graph and two different trend lines with those two kind of halves of the same data set, if you get what I mean? So we're going to really quickly show you how to knock this out. I'm going to be using the 1993 cars data that you see in a lot of examples with statistics. It's data from Consumer Reports on 93 different cars from 1993 with a lot of different variables here on things like horsepower and price and the engine size, etc. And an interesting variable here we're going to look at is, is whether the car is a domestic car or a foreign car. So what I've done in this Excel spreadsheet, which you can download from my website, www.berkeyacademy.com. I'm going to call it two scatter plots. So two scatter plots up here at the top. Just click on files when you get to my website and it'll be right there. What I'm doing is uh, I'm just going to look at the relationship between the horsepower of a car and the average price that it sells for in thousands of dollars here. We're going to make a scatter plot of that and we're going to divide this data set up into two groups. So on this tab, I have just whittled down the variables make, model, horsepower, average price, and if, is it a domestic or is it a foreign car? And I, I use the auto filter tool for this, so let me show all the variables again. And then after I use the auto filter tool, I pasted the data into two sections, the domestics here on the left and the foreign cars on the right. So let me zoom in here a little bit so you can see these numbers a little bit better and we'll go ahead and start making this graph and get it done in the next couple of minutes here. So what we want to do is just uh, start by making a scatter plot with one of the groups. So the easiest way to do that is to put the variable you want on the x-axis in the left hand side and the variable you want on the vertical axis on the right hand side and select those and go to insert and the little dots here scatter and just select your basic scatter plot here but uh, these are the domestic cars now what we can do is we can right click on one of these points and click add trend line and let's go ahead and go whole hog and tell it to display the equation on the chart there all right and we can move that around all right, now let's add the foreign cars. So we're going to do the same kind of procedure to start with. We're going to select the two variables. Let's move this up here. We're going to select the two columns that have the data we want. And instead of making a scatter plot, here's the easiest trick to do this. Right click and, and copy that data to the clipboard. So copy. And now click on the graph and go over here to the, if you, you click on the home tab, if it's not already there, click on the drop down arrow for paste and click paste special. Now this brings up a little menu to paste an additional series into a plot. And so we want to paste a new series, the value, Y values are in columns, we wanted to tell it that the categories or the X values are in the first column. So check that box. I think we can leave everything else as it is and let's just click OK. So now what we have are some orange dots in addition to our blue dots. Now if we want to add a separate trend line just left click on one of the orange dots until it seems like they're highlighted. OK I had to click on that a couple of times. You see this tiny little blue dot that indicates to me that, that I selected that series. Now right click on one of the red dots and go to add trend line. And let's do the same thing. Let's display, display the equation on the chart. And we can maybe move it next to one of these orange points. And now we have two different trend lines, a blue one for the blue dots and an orange one for the orange dots. In, just in case you don't know how, let's let's go through and let's pretty this up a bit. So the basic place you want to go to pretty things up here is uh, let's make this a little bit bigger so it's going to be easier to see what we're doing here. Uh, go to do the design tab and let's add chart element. Let's let's add a uh, main chart title here 
and I'm just highlighting that text and I'm going to type over it domestic versus import. I don't know. Whoops. For some reason that didn't type. Oh, there it is. It just was being a little bit slow there for a second. Um, we, we might want to add do very similarly, add a chart element. We could add an axis title. So we could add a horizontal title and tell everybody what that is. That's uh, the horsepower of the car. And we could add a vertical title and say this is the price in thousands. Well, let me just type it out. And then we also might want to try to put a legend here. So let's go to add chart element, add legend, and let's add a legend to the right here. And we might want to change this to where it's a little bit more informative. So what we want to do is right click on one of the points here and go to select data. And these right here, the average dollars, average dollars, these are the names of our series. Let's click edit. And where it says series name, instead of referencing this cell D1 that has average dollars in it, let's, we can just type here domestic. Okay, and that fixes the blue dots. And now we click on the second series. Edit, similarly we can say import or whatever we would like those to be and it automatically changes the names of the lines to linear domestic linear import so i hope this answers a question and you could add more series doing the same kind of process on top of this three or four or more series if you want if you have any questions or comments about this video, please leave them down in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please like it. If you don't like it, hey, dislike it. Let me know what other questions you have, guys. Good luck with all your Excel work.